morning and it's a Sunday morning and it's uh, nine o'clock and I've been out for about an hour and a half now oh this is very gravelly and <laughs> I'm on a little back lane and it's gravelly as anything it's horrible but it's beautiful oh gun emplacement pillbox is that what they're called pillbox trying to keep my revs up a bit I don't think my calling fans are on. I had an issue, I don't know whether you've seen my video, but I had an issue um, with starting the booster. And battery just sagged. Ooh. And then fired up as per normal, but um, yeah. And I think it was down to the fact that I was doing slow speeds um, around my local roads and the engine got hot the fans came on the fans were on quite a lot of the time and um, I think it just drained the battery the uh, the charge circuit doesn't really start kicking in until you're I don't know two three four thousand revs so I don't think it was giving it enough being that the, you know all the electrics are on your headlights on and um, also you got twin fans which take a bit of power so I'm trying to keep my revs up I've got a brand new battery on and I, I can't see that I'm gonna have any issues but just trying to getting a good habit of keeping the revs up I think I want to go left here I don't really know where I'm going Horsley I think that's the kitty up here yes yeah, so I'm just trying to keep my revs up a bit I'm um, back in the Surrey Hill sort of area which is both beautiful and retardedly slow <laughs> so a little bit frustrating with all the speed limits but the booster is a sports tour and I've done some sports and I'm doing some touring so best of both worlds and I'm making use of best of both worlds which is good let's just pull in here it's not someone's drive is it oh, I think it's someone's drive let's not pull in here <laughs> Yes, yeah, as I say, it's, it's rather beautiful, but uh, speed limits are a bit mind-numbingly slow. East Horsley, this is where I want to be. It's oh, that's the worst place to do that manoeuvre. Forest again. Cut that. Went right round. Let's put that in neutral. Right. Get the phone out. See where I am. See where I'm going. All right. It's heading the right way. Straight up here. 
Where am I? There. That way, yeah. Straight up here, one. Second left. Second left, second left. Yeah, the sun's just starting to get some power. I've got my mesh jacket on, which is uh, beautiful. Really, really vents. The air. Be the f no, that's a that's a private house. National speed limit. <laughs> oh dear. I think this is my second left, having not found the first left. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh, look at all the shit. <laughs> oh dear. Where did you take your sports bike? on the graveliest shit I can find. So, looking for second left. And I think it's all going to be brought private. That might be the first. I don't even know what... Uh, what road I'm looking for. be honest might all be just a wild goose chase oh what's this Robin's wood no it's private house chalk lane that means nothing to me national speed limit oh what's this Honeysuckle bottom, <laughs> quite possibly. Let's block these people's drive. Turn it off. Be quiet in the countryside. All right, mate, thank you. Appreciation wherever you go. I've oh, gone too far. Gone too far. For all I know, that's a path. That's honeysuckle bottom. That is high hazels, which also looks like a A private road. Chalk Lane. Just up from Chalk Lane. Be 
these are all private driveways. That's Chalk Lane. Private, private, private house, private drive, private drive, Robin's Wood. I bet it's that. I bet it's up there. That's a private house again. Gotta be that path. See if we can do about turn here. Oh, that was too much break. It's gotta be this fucking footpath. Or up there. Now we're at the park. Well, that was a fail. That was a fail. I was going to Robin Hood's Arch. Robin Hood art, should I say. Um, I can't get anywhere near it. Well, I can, but I can't park the bike anywhere near it. And I certainly don't want to be leaving it too far from where I'm going to be. I haven't got a clue where I'm going. But now there's a lot of cyclists.
bit of popping, bit of popping, uh, 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 big bumps, God, oh, Jesus. That's the country lanes done. <laughs> There's a There's another place up round here. A calf. I might try. might try and that's the view at Newlands Corner and Surrey Hills nice set of triumphs very nice a little bit overpriced but then got a bit of a monopoly here Yes, quite beautiful. <laughs> oh, a lot of little, little sports machines out. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. Let's say a little bit sport by its speed limits. This being a 40 mile an hour limit. There's no turn offs, there's no driveways. <laughs> and some people don't care. <laughs> But yeah, it's a beautiful day. As so I came out about, I don't know, half seven this morning. What are we at now? Ten o'clock. And it was beautiful this morning, lovely and crisp. The world was just waking up. Oh, nice. Lovely and cool through my mess jacket and everything. But now, that sun's getting a bit of a 
bit of a heat on. So I think I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? Um, there was another cafe I was gonna try, but I thought it was up around here. It's not. It's down south a bit. It's between here and where I live. Um, uh, the the talk talk motor calf or something. Um, so I might pop in there. Just to have a look, really. It's not really far enough away from my ass. I mean, Newland's, Newland's Corner is probably, well, depending on how, how obedient I'm being, is um, anywhere from about 40 minutes to an hour and 20 if I'm really messing about. Whereas this torque calf could have probably gone down there. Is about uh, 20 minutes away. Nice chimneys, nice stacks, man. Yeah, while I was at Newlands Corner, I even had a quite a nice chat with a cyclist who, I don't know whether I just misread it or what, but he seemed to be quite human, <laughs> which is an unusual trait <laughs> for cyclists. Yeah, he just he climbed up, climbed up the hill and I thought, bloody hell, just cycled up legs weren't going, D didn't seem to be any effort or strain or anything, um, he just cycled up this hill, it's like bloody hell, and it's not until I had a side profile of his uh, bike that I see the big battery. <laughs> but yeah, nice enough chap, we was both slagging off uh, pedestrians, <laughs> dog walkers, and speed limits, <laughs> which was uh, it's quite weird, but um, yes, very nice sausage roll and a latte, and I've got the remainder of my bottle of water in my pocket, which is making my jacket rather tight. My stomach makes my jacket rather tight. Um, the bottle is making it even tighter. So, um, so yes, that was a uh, nice little rest and uh, food and food and drink, a sustenance break. Um, and as I say, now I'm going to head south. I might go to the talk, the talk moto calf. I think it's called near Horsham. I might not. If I do, you'll probably see some of that. Probably next. Yeah, didn't get to talk moto calf. 
I stopped off to look at my phone for directions and um, my missus had texted me and said she missed me. So I thought, you know what? I'll go home. So I'm going home. If I could get past these plebeians, I'd have fun going home. that car turning right, that's for sure. It's got the extra wide bars on the one in front with the mirrors as well. Another, what's that, three and a half hours out on the booster. I do love this bike. I do love it. Anyway, I'll catch you again. Ta-ra.